this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link to the Past! Let's go explore the Skull Woods, or the Skull Palace, whatever you want to call it. Let's go through this entrance first, here. We gotta get, well, an item on this side first before exploring the other side of the palace. There's a lot of entrances to this dungeon, and I love using Bumbos to kill my enemies. Whoa, Ceiling Masters! Or whatever you want to call them. I think they're called Ceiling Masters. Nuts. You gotta push a statue onto that switch there. Whoa! Yeah, watch out for those guys. If they get their hands on you, you'll be sent back to the entrance of the dungeon. Well, I suppose in this case it's not such a big deal, but still, you, you don't want that to happen. I think the enemies would respawn if you're in that room. There we go. Apparently the game is just as OCD as I am. Ha! There we go. I love burning the mummies to death. I think they're called Gibdos, if I recall correctly, but... Whoa, die. I don't know if killing the ceiling masters actually causes it to take them longer to respawn. I mean, theoretically you would think that, but I don't know necessarily. But anyway, in this chest we get the big key. You gotta get that before, exp before well, the other ha half of the dungeon would actually have a point to exploring. So, there we go. And if you notice from my battle there, I went a little mad and used my bug catching net for its actually intended purpose to get bugs. So I got about four bees there. You know why, yours. You know why. But anyway, let's go exploring some of the other parts of the dungeon. I actually like how they split up this dungeon. I mean, I wouldn't like it if every dungeon was like that. Kind of like Majora's Mask. Hey, I love the game. It's my favorite in the series. But would I want every Zelda game to have that, the mechanics of Majora's Mask? No, nah, no, nah, probably not. But once in a while, mix it up, try a little experimenting. Sure, why not? Let's explore this part. Whoa. Hold on, can I do this correctly? Nuts! I wanted to open this up and open a pit right below that guy. But uh, nah, I can't get everything I want in life. Not all at once, anyway. That's what my mom always used to say. But anyway, we got a compass. Awesome. I think there's ceiling masters in, like, almost every room of this dungeon. So, you want to be a little careful for that. In this case, it'll take me back to where I entered the dungeon, even though that's technically not, like, a doorway entrance, like the first one that I went through. Ooh, I want to grab that. Yeah, nice thing about having half magic the small magic bottles give you just enough magic to pay for itself. And usually, Bombos, if you're killing like three or four enemies, one of them's probably going to drop another man little magic bottle. There's another entrance to the dungeon, but I don't want to go there just yet. Let's go this way first. And also, you saw the big chest there. We gotta find a way to get to that, but I don't see how we can. There's pits in the way. Well, we'll find another way to get through. Apparently, we can't go through doors with while we're holding bottles, so, oh well. Let's see, get more of these guys on screen, there we go. Even kill the ceiling master while we're at it, why not? At least those things aren't as scary as they were in Ocarina of Time! Yeah, those guys are freaking scary, they drop out of freaking nowhere! You can barely see the shadows like Navi tells you. Watch out for those shadows! WHAT SHADOWS?! Die! Don't stay in one place for too long, or it won't end well for you. There we go. Hmm, I'm surprised it didn't take more hits. Oh, there we go. But anyway, in this chest we get the map of the dungeon. So now we've got the three dungeon items, but we can't get up there anymore. I don't think. Nah, I can't hook shot to anything. So we'll have to find another way to get up, up there. Ha! There we go. Don't want to risk it. Wouldn't be prudent. But anyway, that's where this one goes. I think that one... That pit takes us to uh, that one room where I got the second key there. Oh, hang on. I want to uh, do something fun here. Well, this is for all those years of torment from Zelda 1 taking away my sword. Even if only temporary. Temporarily. Ha ha. Nuts. Okay. You get to live. I don't think there is a way for me to kill that thing now that I think about it. Oh, well. I'll find a way to get my heart back sooner or later. Okay, never mind. Let's try that one again. There we go. You know, there might be a heart under one of those things. 
I wasn't going to go for it, but now I want to. Yeah, you just gotta be a little careful with that. Okay, there's no hearts under there. Never mind. You can't bomb that lower wall. You have to do pull this switch first. Get back here. Ha! There we go. No hearts. Nuts. But anyway, in that chest we get the magic wand. I mean, fire rod. It's like the magic wand in the magic book from the first game. You throw fire at your enemies. Except it doesn't take nearly as many hits to kill them. One hit, usually take out just about anything. You can also use it to light torches from afar, if you ever need to. Not that there's... Whoa! Not that there's going to be any puzzles or anything like that relating to them. But anyway, okay, we've explored... I think we explored the entire eastern half of the dungeon, so let's explore the western half now. Just check my map to see how we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we explored everything. I want to try and explore all the rooms of the dungeon if I can. Whoa, that wasn't enough. Come on, I need my hearts. Whoa. Okay, never mind. I'll get you later. Hmm, we can't get up there. For now. There's another way to get up there. We'll get there soon enough, dude. Man, I'm just really reckless today. Gotta be more careful. I want to have full hearts for the boss. Maybe I should have ha saved some of my, uh, or one of my fairy bottles. But, well, I'm, I went a little overboard there. Oh, well. But yeah, this is the only way to get to this part of the Skull Woods, so. Yeah, there's another entrance here. hi -o! See, if I'm not mistaken, I think one of these Skull Pots has a fairy in them. Ha! Oh, I love having the tempered sword for this part. Usually it takes multiple hits to kill those ceiling masters. Not so in this game. Yeah, you hit the, that star tile, and you can, well, get up here. Nuts. Well, we can try that one again. It's not like I have to backtrack that far. Oh. Okay, never mind. Ha ha! Die, sucker. Uh, do I still... Okay, good. The door is open. I was like, wait a minute. I used my key. I was thinking the door would, I don't know, relock or something. I don't know. That's... Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, come on, fairy. Get back here. I need you. Whoa. Uh, hmm, I don't really have a good way to get out of here, do I? Nuts! Well, that's one way of getting out of there. Well, I suppose it's easier... I was going to say, getting one heart would be easier than a fairy, but no! Actually, there is nothing in that room. I just wanted to show you that room, but... Well, oh well. If I don't have full hearts for the boss, well, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Ha! But with the fire rod, we can get to the western entrance of the dungeon. And now... Oh, come on! Hey, come on! There we go. Now, we want to get to that chest there, but... Well, I'll just tell you, there's... Yeah, there's hidden walls in the way around here, so nothing we can do about that, I'm afraid. You'll just have to kind of take my word for it, like you usually do. You always do take my good word anyway at face value. Not that there's any reason you shouldn't, I'm just saying. Anything to worry about here? No. Okay. Man, I really could use one of those fairies. Oh well, I'll do the best I can. There we go. Yeah, let's just get back up top. We need that key in order to get up here. I could have saved it from before instead of going into that one room that had basically nothing in it, but oh well. Now, I could have just hooked shot over there to the right, but I want to pick up these skulls to see if I can get any hearts or anything else along the way. Why not? There we go. Well, so far, so good. Two more, and that would be enough. Okay, we can go through this whole thing again. Why not? Ha! There we go. That's how you're supposed to get through there. I was thinking about just bypassing the whole thing with my hook shot, but nah. I hope that hits the guys on the bottom there. If it does, great. If not, oh well. Come on. Ha! There we go. Got them all. Gotta catch them all. 
It's like Pokemon, except you die. Well, yeah, pretty much. I don't think the trainers e ever die in Pokemon, but then again, I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh-oh. Forget all this jazz. I wonder if Bombos will work on that guy. We'll find out today! I love Bombos. It makes life so much easier. Yes, it does work on them. But no hearts. Oh, well. These things do anything? I don't think they do. Well, that guy does something, though. Well, let's try that one again. I wonder if this works on that octopus crystal... What? Are, what is that thing? The thing that gives me, like, major, major kickback. Well, whatever it is. I got it all the same. Huh. Oh, I was going to say, it looks like I'm not going to be able to fight the boss at full life, but I can. All right. Let's just wait for that ceiling master. Huh. Well, I don't have full magic, but I think we'll be okay. We got the good bee. Let's jump on down here with the bees. Busy with the bees. For boss time! Okay, first things first, I want to get as many cheap shots as I can with my sword beams. Okay, let's release the hounds! Or the bees. Yes, bees do work on this boss. I'm going to try and let the bees do most of the killing if I can. Because the floor moves. And that's kind of annoying. Aw oh, man, I wanted to kill him with bees. I didn't think I'd kill him that fast, but... I didn't realize how powerful the bees would be. <laughs> wow. If you still had a bee at this point, it'd be buzzing around you as you ha hold the crystal here, but... Well, oh well. I'm not going to re-record just for that stupid little thing, but... Yeah, you can, they actually coded the boss to be susceptible to bees as opposed to every other boss, which from what I've heard are immune to bees. Well, I don't know about every other boss, but... Some people wanted me to demonstrate it, so I figured I'd use an alternate method for killing the boss. If you have suggestions for alternate methods for killing other bosses, let me know. But, I mean, obviously don't spoil the boss fight, but, you know, in the comments and here. But on my forums, you can do whatever you want. I mean, spoil whatever you want. You can't just do whatever you want. That's what Facebook is for. How do you all know that I'm of the bloodline of the Knights of Hyrule? May the Force be with you. I, I mean, the Triforce be with you. But will Link find happiness with a heart of ice? Or will he forever be stuck in misery? Find out next time on Let's Play A Link to the Past! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!